your social media policy and why you need to be on social media. So, go ahead and click the next slide. Okay. The reason you need to be on social media is because people are talking about you. I know colleges, I know businesses. One of my big food suppliers refuses to go on social media because people are gonna badmouth them. And they got a great reputation in New York City, in Miami, in LA, in DC, in Chicago. They have a fantastic reputation. They sell to all the top restaurateurs in New York City, but they don't wanna have a platform because they don't want people to bitch and moan about them and complain. I said, those people are complaining already. They don't need your Facebook page to complain about you. But if you had a Facebook page, and they did complain about you, you could fix it. You could see, you could learn from it. Colleges are like this. I'm on an advisory board at a college and I'm like, you guys have got to get on social media. No, 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 we can't, we can't do that. But you're already there. The kids are talking about you, good or bad. That's the bottom line. You're already on social media whether you signed up or not. So we have a social media staff policy. I want my staff to talk about us. I want my staff to share our posts. I want my staff to say, awesome music tonight. I don't want my staff to say, it's slow here tonight. Somebody come visit me. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Don't want them to say, oh, that special didn't sell that well tonight. Or three people returned the lobster benedict today. Brunch, rough day. So you want your staff to help you spread the word, but you need a concise policy with your staff of what's acceptable to post. What we do is we take old content, Bring it to the top of our Facebook page because you can do a pinned post. A pinned post means that's the first thing somebody's gonna see on your Facebook page when they go on. Because when you post stuff, it goes in chronological order down. And then when somebody comments on a post down here, it brings it back up to the top. Somebody comments here, it brings that to the top. Well, if you take a post that you wanna stay at the top, you pin it and it's right up at the top and no other post can go above it. So what I do is to build relevancy, because you can see how many shares you have on Facebook, how many views and shares and all that kind of stuff. If you make a new, let's say, let's say every Saturday, let's say every Monday I did Lobster Night, which I do. If I write a new post every Monday night for Lobster Night, that's great. But how if I took the post from last week that had 500 views? Or from four weeks where that had 1,000 views? And pin that to the top, that had all my staff share a post that already has 1,000 views. It already has traction. What builds relevancy, which builds shares, which builds views, is when these search engines see old content coming back up to the top. So again, I have Lobster Night every Monday night. Do I create a new post for Lobster Night or do I take an old post and redistribute it? Redistribute. Because now it shows Facebook that, hey, whatever Marcus posted two months ago still means meaningful. People are still sharing it. People are still commenting on it. It's meaningful content. So now that post, so now what we do is we pin that post to the top. We send an email out to our staff and say, please share the musician who's coming this Saturday night on your Facebook page. Now I have four or five staff members who go in, grab it, like it, comment it, reshare it. So it just builds relevancy. It builds more. So my staff knows, hey, this is, this is the link to share this week. This is what we should be talking about at the restaurant.